Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is user story and how to write the acceptance criteria for the user story. Uh, friend, this is a very very interesting topic especially if you are a student in studying project management uh, in university or you are a student of a scrum framework or you are working in any organization as a scrum master or product owner so this is a very very interesting and very important topic for you so let's start friend first of all i would request to please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's start friend first of all we have to understand that how to write the user story uh, what is the concept of user story here Friend, whenever we are managing the software projects, uh, especially through the Scrum framework or Scrum methodology, there is a concept of a user story here. Now, what is the Scrum framework? First of all, a Scrum framework is a methodology which we use to manage or implement the software or IT-based projects. It's a framework which is based on the Agile methodology, which says that we divide uh, the work into multiple chunks called as a sprint uh, method, a sprint a sprint is a three to four week time period and we deliver the project to customer in uh, in multiple chunks so this is the scrum framework now in the scrum framework there is a concept of a user story now what is user story if you just see this term user story so user story means the uh, the, the functional requirement or a requirement of a customer for example, you are implementing e-commerce solution and user uh, and a customer want that the user can do the payment through the credit card. First of all, for, for example, so this is a customer requirement or a functional requirement. So a uh, friend user story is a short, simple description of a product feature from the perspective of a person who wants to use that feature. User stories are used to define the product backlog in an agile development uh, workflow. Now, what is uh, product backlog? Product backlog, just think of this as a scope document that contains all the user stories or all the uh, functional requirement of a customer for the product. Okay, so that is called as the product backlog and the agile framework means that we develop the software by using the iterative approach. Like we are not uh, developing the project in one go we are developing the project on a iteration base like in the first iteration we will deliver five tasks in the second iteration we will deliver the next five tasks and then in the third iteration we deliver all the remaining tasks of the project the product backlog which is just think of this as a scope document which contains all the requirement of a customer is essentially a collective of user stories user story is a functional requirement of a customer that informs the functional specification and development of features for a particular product or service user stories consist of three parts a persona of the user the story is being written for okay description of the feature the user requires, and an explanation of the need of the features uh, so that requires Here is how to write the user story for as a user I want a feature so that I can justify or satisfy a need. Again, read this document. Uh, this is a user story. As a user, I want a feature so that I can satisfy a need. So, uh, see, this is the user, this is the feature, and this is the need. Okay, so these three things must have to be included in the user story: the user, the feature, and the need. Okay, then. Uh, uh, the other thing is that friend uh, acceptance criteria acceptance criteria means uh, in general sense friend uh, whenever we are writing a user story we must have to define the acceptance criteria as well what is the concept of user, uh, acceptance criteria is that we must have to define the acceptance criteria that w on what basis we shall say that the requirement of the customer has been fulfilled okay for example uh, this acceptance criteria must have to be defined that whenever the uh, user story has been completed in the product so on the basis of the acceptance criteria we can decide it that the uh, user story has been successfully delivered to the customer so uh, acceptance criteria are the conditions that a software product must satisfy to be accepted by a user customer or in the case of a system level functionality the consuming system acceptance criteria are a set of statements each with a clear uh, pass or fail result that can be measured and specify both functional and non-functional requirement for example 
the uh, if you uh, there is a requirement that customer must have to enter the user id and password to enter into the uh, into the application for example this is the requirement now uh, the what is the acceptance criteria acceptance criteria is that the customer must have to be logged in successfully when he entered the uh, correct id and password okay so this is the acceptance criteria just think of that as a acceptance criteria as well now for when we talk about acceptance criteria writing acceptance criteria is important not only for establishing uh, what the client expects of the product but for the development process as well naturally different people uh, see the same problem from different angles well defined acceptance criteria provide a uniform view of the functionality you plan to implement anyone should be able to uh, walk up to a scrum board grab a product backlog item read the acceptance criteria and clearly see everything that needs to be completed for the particular item to be moved to the done column acceptance criteria tell you what needs to be done for a particular part of a product to be finished many times it happens friend that whenever we completed a product uh, one uh, so many times it happens that due to unavailability of the acceptance criteria we can't close the things okay we can't say that this is finished if you have a clearly written acceptance criteria so based on the acceptance criteria we every any person can just read the user story and uh, based on the acceptance criteria he can decide that this user story is successfully delivered to the customer or not so you can uh, you can analyze you can recognize that how much it is important to sex uh, to clearly define the acceptance criteria because it is a uh, must have requirement to successfully deliver the things to the customer now a uh, friend acceptance criteria why we need acceptance criteria define the boundaries acceptance criteria helped the development team define the boundaries of a user stories they serve as a form of confirmation that the application is working as expected which means the user story is completed reaching consensus means that acceptance criteria allow the development team to be on the same page as the client they inform the development team about exactly what conditions must be met and ensure the client knows what to expect from the application streamlining acceptance testing acceptance criteria are the foundation of user story acceptance testing every acceptance criteria should be tested independently and have clear scenarios for success or failure as well so these things are very very important uh, you can uh, understand from here from planning and estimation means that acceptance criteria allow you to distribute user stories across tasks so they are properly uh, assessed and scheduled as well describing the negative scenarios as well acceptance criteria may require uh, the system to identify a weak password and prevent a user from continuing for instance entering an incorrect password format is an example of a negative scenario in which a user enters incorrect data or behave unexpectedly acceptance criteria identify these scenarios and explain how the system should respond to them so uh, friend you can uh, you can understand from here that how much it is important uh, to def clearly define the acceptance criteria here friend remember that uh, the most important thing that why you need acceptance criteria because if you don't define the acceptance criteria you develop the thing you develop the functionality but you can't close the requirement you can't uh, close you can't say that this requirement is closed why because if you don't have the clearly defined uh, acceptance criteria you can't close your store user story you can't close your product as, as uh, your project as well so uh, we can say uh, that acceptance criteria is very very necessary for the project for the user story as well for the closure of a project so thank you friend thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you friends